telling skeptical lawmakers if the U.S. rejects the internationally brokered nuclear deal, there would be, quote, no restraints on Iran developing a nuclear weapon. But will it really help us control Iran's nuclear program? Joining us now on the phone is legendary comedian Jackie Mason, who has weighed in on this. Jackie, thank you so much for calling in. Why not? Why not? I'm working very cheap for you. And you, you're right. Thank you. And you've said that New York City restaurants are subject to tougher inspections than Iran is under this agreement. That's exactly what I said, and everybody knows that it's true. It tells you, it tells you really how preposterous and ridiculous this whole thing is. You know how maniacal you have to be to say that you give a person 28 days to straighten out the problem before you ask him a question. Imagine if, imagine if I found out there's a, there's a murderer there. First, I give him 28 days before I let him know that I'm coming to kill him. Right. <laughs> imagine uh, who gives you 28 days to straighten out the problem. But no inspection in the history of the world, first of all. Barack Obama himself says we could be able to inspect any time, any place. And he, he swore for that uh, about 40 times. Right. And that was exactly like his health care program. You could keep your doctor, you could take your doctor, you could do whatever you want with your doctor, except for the fact that you can't find a doctor, nobody knows where the doctor is. Right. And the same thing is true, the same thing is true here. Well, you you're, inspect, you're, you know, you're, inspect, you're being you facetious. Inspect, well, you inspect at any time, except for the fact that you have 28 days to figure out what you want to do with the bomb. It's the same, but how come when you want to buy... When you, when you, in, in New York City, they have an inspection system of the restaurants. They grade A if it's real clean, if B if it's not so clean, C if it's filthy, D if they want to close your bowl together. But they give you no notice because if anybody would live for a month if they if they gave you notice before they inspect, you can inspect right away for a piece of tuna fish. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're being, you're being, but, Jackie, but, you're but, being but, facetious but, about this, but the truth is, is you are concerned about this deal. Of course, I'm concerned because I think it's. it's it, it's a real threat, not only to America, to the whole world. It was a, it was a most idiotic thing. You, know, you could get, they don't care if you get a piece of tuna fish because it might get you nauseous. You, you can get nauseous, but you could get hit with a bomb. But they could have you, a nuclear if, bomb. If you could promise not to get it's nauseous, they could throw all the bombs on you as they please. This is, this is the most idiotic thing in the world. And what's even more sick to me is that they expect 90% of the Democrats to vote for this deal. Hey, Jackie. Now, how come every general and everybody who knows anything about foreign affairs yeah. has said a million times that the deal is preposterous. That's right. The only right. people yeah, but Obama it. said 99% yeah. of the world the thinks 1%. it's a good deal. Yeah, the yeah. math just doesn't add up there. Hey, uh, Jackie, this is Sandra Smith here. Thanks for joining us. Uh, you're one of the very few entertainers or those in Hollywood that are coming out in support of Donald Trump. Why do you like him? I like Donald Trump because he's the only guy that tells the truth. And the truth panics everybody because he says it like he feels it and means it. Everybody else who wants to offer an opinion weighs it for an hour to make sure they don't offend this side, that side, and the other side. And every worry to sound so scripted and perfected. And with a team of writers who organized it, and you could tell the guy rehearsed me what he said. You could see he rehearsed it for a week and a half before he says it. And here's a guy comes out and says, he shoots from the hip and he says, listen, this is what the story is. And that's it. It's as simple as this. He tells you right away, Obama is the worst president this country ever had. You won't hear another politician say a thing like that. They'll say a thing like that off the microphone. Right. But they think Hit. the microphone is dead. But he sounds like he, like the microphone is still on. Yes. <laughs> he says what's on his mind. Here, here's Monica Crowley. Jackie, hi. Good to talk to you, my friend. So uh, I want to bring it back to the Iran nuclear deal because uh, New York Senator Chuck Schumer, who has always claimed to be a big supporter of Israel and the Jewish people, um, now says he needs more and more time to study this deal. Where right. is Chuck all Schumer? All yeah, all what do you think? That's a great right. question. Study. All of a sudden, he can read English too good. He doesn't know what the deal is yet. Everybody, everybody knows what it was a month ago when he's still figuring out what, what's in it, what, what it's about, who wrote it. He has to look it up. He has to go to the library for a week. <laughs> Unbelievable. The nuclear deal, the nuclear deal is such a complicated deal. It's in the paper. Buy a paper. You'll find out what the right. deal is. It's pretty straightforward at this point. Jackie, we're all focused on Schumer to see how he votes. Uh, thank you for for bringing a little levity to it for us, uh, even though this is a real important and serious situation. Jackie Mason, thanks for calling in. We appreciate it. Bye. We'll see you soon, Jackie. Thank you. Futures are off.